Hello again, everybody. Steve Farhood for the Boxing Channel. I'm here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, where we're going to have the final press conference before Saturday's big show right here at the Barclays, headlined by Danny Garcia, the unified junior welterweight champion. He'll take on Rod Salka in a non-title fight. Also on the card, Lamont Peterson, who has a 140-pound title. He'll take on New York's own Edgar Santana. And perhaps the biggest headline of the night, Daniel Jacobs of Brooklyn will fight for the vacant middleweight title against Australia's Jared Fletcher. The reason Danny Jacobs' fight is so big, a couple of years ago, he was diagnosed with cancer. He's a cancer survivor trying to become the first fighter in history to win a world title who was a cancer survivor. That's a major story, and you can imagine how much emotion there will be here at the Barclays should Daniel Jacobs win a world title in front of his hometown fans. So this is the press conference. Let's hear what the fighters had to say. God is good. No, you need to say all the time. Let me hear you, God is good. All the time, God is good. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be back. Barclays Center, this is, this is my home. Um, I fought here twice before and the love that I get in this building is tremendous. Uh, I have a couple things I wanna thank people though. First off, I wanna thank my team, um, my late trainer, Victor Roundtree passed away, and he couldn't be with us uh, for this special moment. So this, this fight will be in his memory. This has been a dream of mine since a little kid, so it's been uh, 20 years in the making. Um, and, you know, I'm fighting Danny Jacobs, who, who's quite the man. He's got a great story about him, and uh, it's going to be a tough fight on Saturday night. So um, I'm really looking forward to this, and uh, I just want to say a massive thanks to my team for all the hard work they're putting in. It's, uh, it's been a long road, but we're finally here, and uh, I just can't wait for Saturday night. This is, uh, this is my chance, and I'm going to take it. I just want to thank um, Jared Fletcher for this opportunity to fight and coming over the halfway across the world, well, all the way across the world, to, for this wonderful opportunity. He's a gentleman, and I have a lot of uh, respect for him. It's been very special uh, to be able to get my story to reach the mass and to inspire and influence you know, millions across the world. That's my dream, that's my goal one day, but starting, we're gonna be the world champion come this Saturday, and it's gonna be a very special moment, and if I do, I will be the first cancer survivor to ever be a world champion. Thank you. I'm a man of few words, but uh, I'm gonna be ready. I'm ready, I had a great, I had a great camp, and uh, I'm gonna be ready, uh, for a good fight, and now I, I, I didn't only train to, to win the fight, but I trained to, to endure whatever he got to bring. You know, so expect a good fight from me. All right, take care. Hello, everybody. Uh, just want to give a few thanks. I just want to thank uh, Showtime, Golden Boy, uh, the whole uh, Heyman team, and Team Headbangers. Uh, and most of all, thank God for me being here. Uh, nothing else much to say. Uh, it's fight week. Y'all know what time it is, and just want to let y'all know I'm ready. Thanks. Rob worked, to, worked really hard for this. And most of all, I want to thank um, Buzzy Garning for letting me be a part of uh, working with Rob for this fight. And um, I'm looking forward to Saturday, and let it, it is what it is. Hey, how's everybody doing? First off, I want to thank God uh, for making this possible. I want to thank my team, uh, Buzzy Garnick, uh, for training me in Pulse Battle 4. And, uh, you know, the talking's done. We've, we've been talking about this too long. I'm kind of sick of talking about it. Uh, fights on Saturday, everybody's going to come out, see a great fight. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And I'll talk to you guys after that. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank God, because what I got is nothing in this world. Well, Danny's ready. We had a 100% camp. He looked great, sparring. He wasn't even getting hit. I don't know that Puerto Rico, bad image. I mean, we didn't lose sleep over it. Well, somebody please tell Gerardo he lost. He keep thinking he won, but I don't got no that's the past. That's, that's gone. That's over. But Danny's 100%. The fight's going to be a great fight. I don't care what the people say. I don't care what they say on Twitter. They call him Danny Cherry Picker, Blueberry Picker, Blackberry Picker. It doesn't matter because he still got to go out there and fight for his because I told him to be a fighter, not to be. Nobody ever gave him nothing. 
So whoever thinking that he's a cherry picker, this wasn't cherry picked or blueberry picked. This was made by him fighting and taking, you know, and fought the, fought the best, fought the killers. Now he beat all the killers. Now he's fighting a man right here from Pittsburgh. They call him a nobody. Why? I'm not giving the man props. I'm just speaking up for Danny because that's not my job. My job is not to worry about soccer. My job is to worry about Danny Garcia. And it's going to be called the Danny Swift Garcia Show. There's no title involved. I feel bad for that. But they listen, I'm hopeless on that one. But we're walking up to 47. We want, we want 47 next. And we're going to dominate the division the same way we're doing the junior, weight, the junior weight division too. And I don't care what people say. It's still going to be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? Be my showtime, baby. Thank you all. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Nothing was ever given to me. I was dying. They gave me six months to live. Throat cancer at that. And look, through a feeding tube for two years, that makes who Danny is today. Exactly. A fighter. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank Team Garcia. I want to thank my dad, my whole camp. I had a tremendous camp. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Gold Golden Boy. I want to thank Showtime. I want to thank the Barclays Center for giving me another chance to fight here. This is my, my third fight here. Feels like a feels like my home, to be honest with you. And um, it was a privilege. You know, I was the first fighter to fight for a world title at the Barclays Center. And now it's already my third fight here. So I'm very excited. I love the atmosphere here in the, at the Barclays Center. Uh, it gives me a great feel. It's like a, a great fight feel for a great night of boxing. And I can't wait to Saturday night to go out there and and showcase my skills. I feel like a young vet, man. So, you know, I'm gonna go in here Saturday night, handle my business. And uh, like I call it the Danny Garcia show. It's gonna be the purge. <laughs> but like I said, man, my dad's my main motivation. Like I said before, if my dad could beat cancer, it ain't nothing I can't beat. So that's my main motivation. That's what keeps me, that's my, my hunger, the fire in my heart. A lot of people have different motivations in life, but um, you know, I, I, I'm a boxer because I love to fight. Um, you know, it's in my heart. This is all I know how to do. You know, sometimes I win a fight and I, for, I forget to go get my check. So I just so much I love boxing. So I can't wait, man. Saturday night is going to be an epic night. My weight is good. I'm feeling good. I'm smelling good. I'm looking good. I'm here at the Barclays Center. And I can't wait. Um, like they said, um, you know, it's Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh. I feel like I'm a throwback fighter. So I'm Reggie White, he's Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger drops back, looks deep, Hail Mary. But here comes Reggie White. Smacks him, game is over, baby. See y'all Saturday. So you've heard from the fighters here at the final press conference before Saturday night's big show at the Barclays Center. Danny Garcia, Rod Salka, the main event. Danny reminding us that it's a Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh matchup. Lamont Peterson will defend his title against Edgar Santana, New York's own Edgar Santana. We heard from both of them. They were very brief in their comments. In fact, in fact, everybody at this press conference was polite to the point of being maybe too polite, even Angel Garcia, Danny Garcia's outspoken dad. And perhaps the most poignant fight of the night, Danny Jacobs, a cancer survivor, fighting for the vacant WBA title against Jared Fletcher. Danny Jacobs thanking God for this opportunity and Fletcher saying he's been waiting for this opportunity for 20 years. So an interesting night of fights on Saturday. Look for further coverage of this show on the Boxing Channel. This is Steve Farhood in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center.